to the store tour for today, aka the live stream. Got quite a few things we're going to be showing off today, so we'll dive into it here. Trying to get used to this camera orientation here. Got a pile of sets here that we're adding online. Some more over here. These seem to be kind of the fancy ones here. These are already online. Joe has just informed me. These are already available on our website right now. So we've got the new Stratocaster set here. It's pretty awesome. Got a couple of good Star Wars ones. I think I actually featured that uh, gunship on our Facebook page already. That one is just stunning. Don't see that one every day for sure. A couple people are here. How's it going, everyone? Hope you're having an excellent day. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to see them. Let's see here. Make sure all the comments are visible. Here we go. Alrighty, and we got a bunch of built sets over here. Hello, hello. Everyone's showing up. We got some... Alien Conquest, a bunch of Chima sets in here. Yep, uh, we started uh, just a couple minutes early. Slave one with case sold already, correct? Has the slave one with the carrying case, I believe it's Django Fett's slave one, is that sold already? Yeah, that's sold. It's sold, yeah. So that one's sold already. Sorry about that. Did the ARC 170 from the weekend haul sale? Okay, it's uh, Chris says that, that they're planning on inventorying it, but if you call the store and want it just built, you can save quite a bit of money because once we inventory it, it becomes more expensive because we put a lot of work into it. We've got a bunch of nice built sets about to go, some Ninjago, Star Wars, and it's important to note that all built sets are still 15% off, I believe till the end of the month, is that right Chris? Yeah. So yeah, good time to get a built set. And we do ship them, but they probably won't survive. But you could always just rebuild them. Hello, hello. There's Daniel. Is that how you like to be here? Let's see here. 15% off? Yes. 15% off is very nice. I'm going to start walking around the store and scanning some of the themes. I know we've got a bunch of City, Technic, and Star Wars over here. I'm on the hunt for Django Fett. Aren't we all? Yeah, we uh, we are looking for Django Fett because he is pretty awesome. I don't know if we, uh, Ethan, do we have any Django Fetts? Um, they have the original one. The original one. Yeah. There he is, among his Mandalorians. Has a crack for two fifty. Oh my goodness. So the old Django Fett is not an affordable character right now, but we do have him. At least in uh, used condition. So I'll let you get back to work there, Ethan. I was ignoring the comments for a second. Let's see. Brad P is here. I need a built garbage truck. Let's go look at city really quick. Do we ship to Greece? We do ship to Greece. We ship all over the world. It is expensive to ship internationally, though. So have that factored in before you buy something. There's the marble section looking really good. I'm trying not to move too fast so everyone can see what's going on and doesn't get sick. So. We're looking for a built garbage truck, let's see. We've got a bunch of built school buses from the hidden side sets. <laughs> get the one Lego movie garbage truck. Yeah, we got Lego movie garbage trucks over here, hold on. I think it's this set here. The trash chomper. There it is. That one's $80 for a new sealed one though, so we might want to look for a more affordable city version of that. If anyone is looking for anything in particular, let me know. Built garbage truck, let's see. Oh, there's one right there. It's orange. It's $30. Looks like it uh, has a driver. So there's at least one option here for you, Brad P. 
we have a bunch of built city sets. We always seem to have a lot of them, and they sell pretty well. But as soon as they sell, we have another five to take its place. Do you have the ARC 170? I think we have a used one that's built that we're going to be inventorying soon. So keep an eye out. Do we have Electro Set from Spider-Man? Let's see if we have Electro Set from Spider-Man here. I know we have an ARC 170 that's used, built, and they're going to be completing it and making sure it's in great shape. Let's see here. Electro set from Spider-Man. Let's see. We've got a couple Spider-Man sets here. There's Dr. Octopus. There's the Green Goblin. There's Carnage. There's another Dr. Octopus. I don't see Electro, though. So we might not have Electro. Although we do have a lot of Marvel sets in stock right now. I see a little bit more of uh, Iron Man and the other Avengers. I see Thor. There's Spider-Man versus the ATM heist battle. It's pretty fun. So plenty of Spider-Man, but not the Electro set. We probably have the figure, though. Does anyone else have a fuzzy pick? It sometimes does that. Um, we, the Wi-Fi here is not the best at some times, so if it's a little bit fuzzy, sorry about the quality. Do we have a UCS Death Star 2? I believe that's the built one. Well, not the built one, the, um, the large mini, non-minifigure scale version. I don't think we have the one right now, but I can check with, uh, Joe should know. Plenty of Marvel characters. I don't see Electro out right now. I'm pretty sure we usually have one in the back, though. Definitely worth checking the website and seeing. Let's go ask about a UCS Death Star 2 here. Here's the awesome racetrack. It is not a slide. Joe, do we have the UCS Death Star 2? No, we sold that one. Okay. So we don't have UCS Death Star 2 right now, but we do have a bunch of Star Wars sets. Can we see Teenage Nin Mutant Ninja Turtles sets next? Yes, we can definitely check those out. I know we got a couple good ones back here in the licensed theme area. Thank you for all the great questions here. Hello, my Grumptastic friends. Grumpy J. Grumpy J's here. I found this channel from a channel called Mini Superheroes Today. Oh, yes, we love Mini Superheroes Today. He recently visited our store. We're so grateful. Oh, my gosh, look at all those ATSCs there. Very cool. All right. Excuse me, sir. Let's see what we've got for Ninja Turtles. There's one. We've got Shredder's Dragon Bike. That's pretty rad. How much is the built ghost? Oh, we'll check it out in just a moment here. Must have passed one on the way here. And there's a, a, the Krang Lab Escape. I'm probably butchering the name. I'm, I haven't seen the Ninja Turtle show. I just know of them. So you have those two sets. Let me check the prices really quick while we're here. Forty dollars for a new sealed Krang Lab Escape, and eighty dollars for a new Shredder's Dragon Bike. We also have this one here. It looks like they're in the sewers. That one's fifty dollars for a used certified seven nine one zero two. It doesn't have the set title on that one because we don't have the box. And that looks like all we have for Ninja Turtles, but let's go look at that uh, built ghost over here. Yes, it's in the bottom of the case right there. Here it is, okay. The ghost. Looks like it has instructions, an unused sticker sheet, all the figures. We've actually disassembled the figures because Zeb's torso will almost instantly break if you put them on too firmly. So they're all disassembled so that they do not break. And there's the built ghost with box and everything. Let's see, $4.99, so $500 for the excellent condition built ghost. That is expensive. I'm pretty sure we have a new sealed one as well, but I think that one is in the $700 range. You'll have to check the website. I don't know it off the top of my head. Oh man, that's beautiful. Yep. I really like these new cases that we got that you can see the sets so well. Plenty of room some, for some really big cool sets. 
Alrighty, let me check the chat here. Any Lego Castle Set 375 or 6075 minifigures? That's the um, original Yellow Castle, if I'm right. Um, so yes, I believe we do have a couple of those figures. Some of the ones with the old visors can be very expensive, though. But we'll go check out the cast figures in just a second here. Here's the Bionicle case. Always a fun place. Do you have any of the Raimi sets? Been trying to find them. We had a few, but I believe most of them have now sold. But we'll go check that as soon as we've checked out the castle figures over here. We did have uh, Doc Hawk's Doc Ock's Secret Hideout for a while, and that was a pretty awesome set. I think it sold. All right. So, how much Bionicle do we have? We have a lot of Bionicle. We just passed it. We can check that out in a moment as well. We've got quite a few of these figures would have come in the old castle sets. That's the set before the one you're discussing, though. So let's see. Oh, yep, top row right there. The uh, Chevron Knight and the pink... Actually, it's kind of a pink-purple crown knights back there. And the Maltese cross knight there. A couple of the figures from the original Yellow Castle. One of the first Lego sets to even have minifigures. Those guys are from the uh, late 70s. Pretty awesome. So we've got a couple of those, and they range from anywhere from $40, $20, some are more like $100 if they have the really cool visors. Spongebob Squarepants after Spider-Man. I think we can do that. Let's go check that out really quick here. Don't forget to mention the price when you concentrate on a certain set or minifig. Absolutely. Trying to very much so. We don't want to keep people guessing. What's the cheapest Forest Man set? I don't know. It's probably too expensive, but I'll check. Uh, let's see. Sam Raimi sets. Sam Raimi's sets here. I think we might even be out of Sam Raimi Spider-Man right now, too. Because it would be over here. We've got quite a few of the Spider-Man. I think they're mostly the Tom Holland-esque version. Oh, no, no, there's a Sam Raimi Spider-Man. I was wrong. Let's see here. I'm trying to get the camera to see him just right. He is $150 for a wonderful original Tobey Maguire Sam Raimi Spider-Man. We also have his... Uh, early wrestling suit spider-man there as well he's also 150 dollars but then the regular spider-man figures are anywhere from five to seven dollars some are eight dollars as well let's see what that last comment said here see a figure with the human spider suit what is your favorite set and theme i like castles so those are my favorite for sure they are I've always been my favorites, but I like classic space as well. There's so many good themes, though. And, let's see, Sam Raimi. I see a lot of Avengers, Ant-Man, and several Spider-Man sets. I think we are unfortunately out of the Sam Raimi sets right now, because if I remember correctly, it would have been right here, and right now, there is a Guardians of the Galaxy Milano spaceship right there instead. So, no sets for um, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, but uh, we do have a couple of the figures in here. We probably have, yep, there's the old Green Goblin up there as well. It looks like a used version of that is $100, and a really nice mint version of that is about $200. So, he's up there. Alrighty, what was the thing we were going to check out? I think it was SpongeBob. Let's see. What's the price for the UFO sets? We'll check that out once we head over to Classic Space, but... Uh, Let's see. SpongeBob SquarePants sets we're going to check out really quick. Let's see here. Oh, here's a couple up here. Awesome. You know, I'm something of a minifigure myself. Oh, that's a good application of that meme. I love those um, old Spider-Man memes. They're great. Looks like we got Mrs. Puff's Boating School. That's an excellent set. See if I can move that one aside. We also have the Build a Bob. That is awesome. That one is six hundred dollars. Oh my goodness! A new sealed Build a Bob 
$600. I know we had a built one a while back, but I think that one sold. We also have Mrs. Puff's Boating School. That one is new. Let's see. New on Shopify. So that one's $200. So it's very expensive SpongeBob sets. Can I buy the Green Goblin figure on the website? You should be able to. I'll check with Joe, but I'm pretty sure that is the uh, correct. You should be able to find them under um, uh, Marvel superheroes. Um, Michael's asking, I need a black Chevron Knight. What is that one going to cost? I believe that one was $40, but um, we can go check on that as well. Lots of new names in the chat today. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Brad P, my man, doing my job for me. That is exactly what we need you to do. Subscribe and like if you want to see these streamed and see what's at the store. SpongeBob UCS is pricey. Yes, it is. <laughs> when it's new sealed, the box is in pretty good shape. I don't see any flaws with it. So it's just a hard set to find, especially new sealed in the box. So totally understood on that. Florida brother, do you have Cad Bane? Let's see here. We do, I'm pretty sure we have Cad Brain. We'll have to go check here. Hi, Mark. My boys and I are huge Lego fans. Aaron, Caleb, Seth. Loved you guys on Lego Masters. Do you have Carl Mordo from Doctor Strange? I'm pretty sure we have Mordo, right? Yeah, we don't have Cad Bane, though. No Cad Bane. The closest we Cad do Bane have Mordo. thing we have is that guy right there. Okay, so we have... It's honestly better. That's probably Cad Bane's cousin. That's probably Cad Bane's cousin. He's kind of pale looking, but that's him. Cad Stain. <laughs> Cad's thing. No, it, it's it's Bob Kane. Bob Kane? Yeah. <laughs> Bob Kane? Instead of Cad Bane. Maybe Citizen Kane. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, so we don't have Cad Bane. Uh, I'm pretty sure we do have Mordo. Is he going to be over in Marvel? Yes. You know what? He, he's uh, the dark green outfit. Dark green outfit. We'll go check him out. I remember seeing Mordo on the movie, but I'm not remembering what his minifigure looks like. He's going to be a villain. Where's oh, Doctor Strange villains? There's the Mandarin. That's not the right one. I don't see Mordo here, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be on the website. Is he over in the heroes section? Yeah, we should have him on the website. It doesn't look like we have one out right now. He's not out in the case, so we can't reference the price, but he should be on the he website. Be so anywhere from 8 to 12 bucks, I think. John, our minifigure guy, is saying 8 to 12 bucks for Mordo. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Do you have Cad Bane? Um, hey, hey, this restore tour is in focus. Good stuff. Okay, it's back. That's good. How much for the blue guy? Blue guy. We might have to specify that a little bit for me, Mr. G. Wick. Let's see. How much is Dr. Doom? Dr. Doom here. He is $39.99, so $40 for that one. You like Joe? Give me Joe. Which Joe are we talking about? Is it Joe up at the store, Joe? Because he's great. Okay, I'll look him up. Let's see here. Thanks. Yes. Awesome. All right. What was the other thing we we're gonna look at? Oh, um, UFO line. Somebody asked about the UFO line. And do you have any Avatar sets? Let's go check Avatar really quick, and then we'll check out UFO. I'm pretty sure, unfortunately, we are out of Avatar sets right now, just because they only made like two or three back in 2000. I want to say six or seven. Maybe it was a little earlier, 2003 or four. Here's our license themes right here. I don't see any Avatar. I see some Lone Ranger, Prince of Persia, The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, Cars, Powerpuff Girls, Mario. Here's a Star Wars set. How'd that get there? No Avatar sets right now. We do get them in every now and then, though, so check it out on our website. I think we have a few listed, so you can actually add that to your wanted list and next time we get one it'll send you an email notification so if you're looking for avatar sets that's a good way to keep it keep a tab on it so why is there no highlander sets lego they say they can only be one exactly there's no highlander sets why yeah there's so many amazing i want i want lego terminator but that's probably not um in the cards how much would you take for Doctor Doom 2006? Ooh, I don't know off the top of my head. Marvel isn't really my forte, but I would definitely call Joe. We'll call a store, and uh, Joe or Chris should be able to give you at least an estimate for uh, a Doctor Doom figure if you want to trade him in. 
Terminator is R, though. Yes, it is. That's why it's probably not going to ever happen. A lot of amazing uh, themes and movies that probably will never happen just because they're not really kid-friendly. So. Let's see what we've got here. I'm not seeing... There's a small UFO. Looks like a little rover vehicle. That one's $14.99. Has the little droid as the pilot. Let's see. We've got a bunch of classic space stuff, but I'm not seeing a ton of UFO. I know we have a lot of UFO sets in the pipeline, which means that we have a bunch of used or built ones, and we're preparing them to be put out for sale. So we will eventually have some cool UFO sets. I know we have a bunch of uh, Galaxy Squad and um, Alien Conquest, so these alien vehicles look pretty cool. There's also the Mars mission vehicles, they're very cool. And all these built sets are 15% off till the end of the month, so good time to come in and get a alien fleet to attack your city or scene. There were some licenses in the Lego movie that were R-rated, so, yep, that is interesting. Some of the themes, I know Lego Dimensions had a lot of themes that you pretty, pretty much would never see as a Lego set, just because, like, uh, they were a little too scary or, you know, kind of focused on adults versus kids, so Dimensions was also unique in that way as well. Look at all those city sets, oh my goodness. I want Lego Fortnite, but I feel like that has a good chance of happening. That's actually a pretty good chance. I think Fortnite is a little bit leaning towards the, the violence, and even then it's very cartoony. So that's a possibility. I would love to see it just because people have been asking about it for years. Do you have a built shell racer? If I'm thinking that, that correctly, Brick Virus is asking that. Um, we probably do. Here's our um, speed champions. We have a lot of race cars. Let's put it that way. A lot of um, very fast looking vehicles. I think it, remembering what you're speaking here, it could be an older shell vehicle. Like they had the um, uh, licensed shell products, the old sets. We did have a few of those, but I don't see them right now. Overwatch. Yeah, Overwatch is pretty cartoon violence. So that's that's for sure. Overwatch is there, and they were actually um, hinting at Horizon Zero Dawn sets, which, which would be more serious video gaming. Built Brickheads, please. Brad P. wants to check out Built Brickheads. They are right behind me here, which is great. Got Aquaman, Robin, Captain Phasma, Lloyd, The Clown, Marty McFly, Ron, Master Wu, got Jack Sparrow, there's a couple of comments here. Let me read them here. Oh, from TMNT. Shell Racer. Oh, oh from Ninja Turtles. Um, we, I don't think we do. Because there wasn't a lot of built Ninja Turtle sets over in the licensing when we last checked there. I'd say Fortnite is more popular at almost Minecraft level. Yeah, Fortnite is more popular than Overwatch. I would, I would agree with you there. Couldn't find the $100 used Goblin figure on the website, only the $200 one. Oh, so you want the $100 one. Um, if you're able to, I would probably call the store yeah. and see if you could buy it, because we, we'll sell you anything over the register, over the phone. So definitely give us a call if it's not showing up, the used one. So. Do you have a General Grievous chase? We might. Okay, John's giving me the no, so we don't. We have, probably have a General Grievous figure, but not the actual set. Do you video game, Mr. Mark? I do. I do a lot of video games. I do Minecraft. I do a game called Total War, which is a strategy Fortnite. game. I don't play Fortnite. I, I rage quit when I play uh, either single, like um, first person or third person video games against other Tell people them online. So. To play Star Wars Tell them that they need Everyone at the store plays all sorts of games, though, so they're always like, Mark, you gotta play Fortnite. I'm like, no, I'll rage quit. I'm not gonna do it. It's no, bad for my no, blood no. pressure. No, he needs to play Battlefront. So I'm not going to do that, so, no. Play Battlefront, Mark. Play Battlefront. Death Star. Do we have any Death Stars, John? Fortnite is not good. No. This is Arcane. Well, I kind of agree, but I know a lot of kids love it. And actually, I know a lot of the crew at the store have been getting back into it. Hey, ask them what their opinion is on Battlefront. Uh, John also asks the chat what uh, they think of Battlefront, so I don't know. I've never played that either. Oh, here's our cool... Atlanta Brick Co. sets. I always like to plug these. Oh, it looks like we need to restock a few. Fortnite is not one of my favorite games, but I play it to help my no younger nephews. Oh, there you go. That's cool. 
honesty, I would do that, but then all the younger people at the store are way better than me, so I would just be a hindrance to them, I think. Oh, and these guys are cool. You got the mini soldiers, nano soldiers, and the mini chess pieces. Those are pretty cool. Reminds me of the old little plastic army men I used to play with when I was a kid. I know that we don't, we don't have Fortnite Lego, but a lot of these brick arms weapons are actually kind of aimed at the Fortnite audience. Let's see if I could find it here. Let's see. Not seeing it now, but there used to be a Battle Royale pack. And uh, you could get weapons that were from Fortnite. Let me check the comments. I think I missed a few questions here. Love Battlefront, no time to play though, yep. Time is a thing when you get older too. Death Star. Joe, we don't have any Death Stars now, right? No. No Death Stars, unfortunately. You're out of Death Stars. They should do a CMF of Super Smash Bros. characters. Yes, they should. That would be pretty cool. General Grievous Chase. We don't have General Grievous Chase. Come on, folks. Let's stick with Lego. Yeah, let's kind of stick to the Lego, folks. Gaming's fun. And it has some things to do with Lego, but let's ask, if you're looking at the store, let's, let's focus on that here. You guys have any Scooby-Doo Lego? We should have a few. I know you have the built dinosaur from the set, but I'm looking for the whole set. We're also looking for um, the Jurassic World, I'm guessing. Jurassic World Gate, which has the huge built dinosaur. Let's go look at Scooby-Doo back here. Uh-oh, we might be out of Scooby-Doo sets. I see Minecraft, SpongeBob, Speed Racers, Ninja Turtles. Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo, where are you? Okay, that was lame, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Really wanting the Blue Soldier Battle Pack from the Lone Rangers, but so far, yes. I think back in the day, that was a great option for some Union-looking soldiers, but now it's a very expensive set, so. Let's see, I'm not seeing any Scooby-Doo sets right now, which is unusual. Usually we have at least one or two, so they must have sold. But we always have a few Scooby-Doo characters available. I'm seeing a couple versions of Shaggy, a mummy, a lighthouse keeper, a ghost, Scooby-Doo, Fred, couple of the characters here. I d I'm pretty sure um, Velma is really hard to find. We probably don't have a Velma right now. Looks like we have a Daphne available as well. Yep. And definitely, if you're looking for Scooby-Doo items, check our website, because we have those sorted under themes. Um, I think it would be under licensed minifigures. Scooby-Doo himself is probably under minifigures, not animals. So it, you should be able to type just Scooby-Doo and be able to find a few of the characters. Or you can look by themes, or you can look under sets or minifigures in that correct theme. I know a couple of those we still have to add on, but we should have some of them added. Do you have Lego Marvel's Aisha Revenge or the Ultimate Battle for Asgard? I believe we do. Let's go check that out. I have some minifigs that are missing some parts. If I called, would someone be able to help check if you have those parts? Yes, normally that is the case. So definitely call the store and check and see if we have those pieces for you. Any victory lap sets? I'm not 100% sure where the victory lap sets. I'm guessing that has nothing to do with racers. So we'd have to check on that. If, if you have any specific, if you have a set number or any set titles that would help too, Mr. Phillip. Let's see here. Aisha's Revenge. Let's see. I thought I said, yep, here it is. Aisha's Revenge. Looks like we have two of them. $100 for a new sealed Aisha's Revenge. I actually got that set back when it came out. That one was pretty cool. Really love the uh, gold minifigure pieces for Aisha. And then what was the other one we needed? Let's see. Or Ultimate Battle for Asgard. Let's see here. Don't know if we have that one. We do have Thor versus Hulk Arena cra uh, Clash, which is definitely Thor themed. Battle for Asgard. No, that one ha would have Hela in it, right? Yeah. So I don't think we have that one right now. Let's see. Far From Home sets. Oh, do we get any Lord of the Rings Hobbit sets? We do have some of those in stock right now. We also got in uh, Butthole Tiger. 
we have the uh, Majestic Tiger set, which is very amusing if you haven't seen pictures online. So definitely worth checking out. Thank you, John. All right, no back bear, back to the comments. <laughs> back to the comments. Let's see. Uh, do you have any Scooby Doo? We got that. Um, do we sell pieces with stickers? Normally, don't we don't have those listed individually, so you wouldn't be able to find those on our website or Bricklink. We do have a lot of them though. Um, it's probably easiest if you came into the store or called about that, just because they, we haven't put them on our website. Do you have any Indiana Jones? We do. Let's, while that we're here, though, let's look at Spider-Man Homecoming sets, because Mint Brick was asking about that. Let's see. Spider-Man. Far, or Homecoming. Spider-Man Homecoming sets. I almost said Far From Home. No. I don't see any Spider-Man Homecoming sets, because they have a very distinct box art. Not seeing them. Oh, well, no, that's Spider-Man Homecoming. Here we go. So we have the uh, ATM heist battle, which has the original Tom Holland Spider-Man and some other guys dressed as Marvel superheroes who are trying to rob the bank. So that one is $50 for a new sealed ATM heist battle. Let's see here. So the rest of them are not specific to uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. Alrighty. So we had one of them that was specifically from that series. Sam Raimi, Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man sets in stock. We got that question earlier and we do not. So we do have a few of the characters and they should be available on our website. You can check those out. But uh, we don't have the, uh, the sets in stock. Let's see, how much for the Thor Hulk arena? Let's check it out here. I'm sure it's gone up a little bit. Yep, $169.99 for a new sealed one. Looks like we have three in stock right now. So that is an awesome set. I love the Gladiator Hulk. He is a very collectible figure. As is Loki and Thor, actually. They've all gotten pretty special these days. So. Let's look at the chat one more time. Those are all awesome, things. thanks. This is Mint Bricks. Do you have the Sanctum built? Also, hi. Hi, Marvel Kid. How's it going? Let's see. Do we have a built Sanctum? No, I think we sold the one we had. We had like two or three just well, a week or two ago, and they are all gone. So we don't have any built Sanctums right now. Do you have the one in box? We do have the one in the box. It looks like it's new sealed. So if you want to pay top dollar for the best condition, we do have that one. But we don't have a built Sanctum right now. But we do get those in pretty often, so definitely check it out. Keep up, keep up, up to date with the... Uh, the haul videos, that's where you see it first. And uh, keep an eye out for the live streams like this one so you can see when we get those. What is it? What is like a crazy haul that someone bought? Oh man, people will come in and spend way too much money when they, they find exactly what they're looking for. Like some people will want to collect Batman, Sp uh, Spider Man, people, everyone's into Spider Man right now, Minecraft, Star Wars. And they'll just get either a bunch of figures, a bunch of sets, whatever they're looking for, they'll just stock up and they'll leave with it. I remember one um, one guy came in and he used a whole shopping cart and filled it with stuff. It was amazing. I tend to spend too much money here too, but it's never in huge hauls. I'll just spend like $10, $30 a day and I'm, all my paycheck goes out. So, Mark, how do you like doing the live stream so far? You're doing great. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, it's different from my usual line of work, but I'm trying to get used to it because uh, Justin is not here today to do it. So somebody's got to do it. I really appreciate you guys and all the awesome questions you guys have been asking. Do you take base plates other than Lego? Um, not normally. Um, it kind of depends on the, the base plate itself. If they're pretty good, you can usually get a dollar or two, a couple dollars in store credit. The non-Lego base plates are very affordable to buy. So... There's not much of a room for us to sell them and make profit off of them. And we normally try to sell Lego stuff exclusively as it is. So probably not is the answer for that. Can I see the custom Marvel builds? We probably have a couple here that we still have together. Let's going over and looking at Marvel builds here. So here's all the sets that we have in stock. They're all 15% off till the end of the month, so definitely worth checking out. A lot of vehicles. 
couple nice figures, Hulkbusters, planes, cars, mechs, and monsters. And then we also have a custom Marvel City display over here. Let me fire up the lights really quick, you can see. It's a little bit in disrepair, but not bad. I think somebody purchased our Chitari Leviathan that was back there. But the train still works, the bridge is still under attack, and the Marvel superheroes are fighting to defend New York. So these are pretty awesome. Me and John spent a long time building all these buildings and getting all the sidewalks down, and hosing all these minifigures. Definitely worth checking out. Oh, there's a, a, the custom Sanctum Sanctorum that we made with cool lights. I tell you what, if you ever make a Lego scene, definitely worth investing in a few lights to make it look really cool. How much is the Deadpool set with Magneto and Wolverine? We have one of those, or maybe two of those. Let me go check it really quick here. Has anyone asked you for a Chrome Nebu Starfighter yet? No, they have not. We can go check that out. I know where one is, so we can go check that out in just a second here. Can we get a quick min minifigure flyby? Curious to what police minifigures we have. We can check out the city minifigures in just a second as well. It looks like the Wolverine's Chopper for a certified complete one is going to be $200. And that includes the cool Deadpool, Wolverine, and Magneto, I believe. And I believe there's another one over here. Or maybe that's an Iron Man set. Okay, no, that's Iron Man. So we have one of those Wolverine sets in the stock. Let's see. <laughs> Someone was saying, you helped me purchase a built sanctum on the phone last week. Came a few days ago and is great. Thank you so much. Awesome. So you can get a built set and it sometimes survives and that's awesome. Let's go um, look at the Naboo Starfighter and then minifigure, specifically police minifigures really quickly here. I know there is a beautiful looking Chrome Nabu Starfighter up here. That was hilarious. And this is always a cool looking set, but I think it has a special place in Star Wars fans' attention right now just because of the uh, Book of Boba Fett. If you haven't seen that, that's a minor spoiler. So, definitely an interesting set right now. This one is uh, $450. $450 for a very good condition. Stickers are in good shape. And all those chrome pieces are in excellent shape as well. Love these live streams. Can we get a peek at the train collection? We can. Let's see here. Let's take a quick look at police minifigure flyby here. And it'll be good to go. Let's see. Didn't someone make viable endgame mocks? Oh yes, we did have a couple of those. Let me let me scan those really quick after we check out police and city here. When I visit next week, and I'll be doing a crazy haul for sure. Oh, awesome. Love these lime streams. Can we get a peek at tra yeah, trains? Atlantis. Nice. Brad P says he has a, a last minute addition to his Millennium Falcon collection, courtesy of Atlanta Brick Co. That's awesome. All right, so we have a bunch of Lego City figures here on display. This is not even a tiny fraction of what actually is available from Lego's catalog, but we tried to put as many as possible. Looks like somebody bought out quite a few of our police figures. We still have a few left. Um, they're mostly the classic ones. Some of the newer ones are still there too. They range from about $3 to $4 because they're pretty affordable. And that's the flyby for police. We don't really have those online yet, but uh, if you call the store, we could definitely give you some options. I bought one of the UCS Naboo St Starfighters after last Friday's live stream. Awesome. That's BJ, good old BJ. Finished my Ghostbusters collection and now I'm looking for something else to obsess over. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah. Brad P is reminding me to plug the website. It's atlbrick.com. Definitely worth visiting if you're looking at any of these things shown in the live stream. What are the drawers used for? Oh, these drawers are where we store the extra bulk brick. So there's brick on the table, there's brick below in the drawers, and I think one of the drawers also has lids for the containers which you can keep if you fill it up. Yeah. Train collection, let's go check out the train collection really quick. Oh, and we also have Atlantis sets to check out as well. And then we have a couple of trains. 
they're kind of buried behind these sets here, but let's see here. We got the Crocodile locomotive, a couple of custom train cars as well, a few uh, older city train cars. Oh, not not those drawers? So what would you sell that for? We'll find out which drawers we're looking for in just a second here. Thank you for showing the police minifigures. You're the best. Love the live streams. Awesome. Glad the live streams are helping people find out what's in the store. We got a big custom train engine there. Got some city passenger trains, a Christmas tree train, car, cargo train in the back. Top shelf. Yes, we can take a look at the top shelf. I'm not sure how much has changed since last week, but we'll check it out. There's another BNSF, another passenger train, coal cars, a few Hogwarts train station up there. Some transformers and track. A lot of the train stuff is available on the website, atlbrick.com, so definitely check out there. And you can find it under trains, under bulk brick, I believe. BJ is asking to look at the top shelf, so let's check that out. The drawer is next to the entrance. Gotcha. We can take a look. Oh, are they the little drawers? Those would be where we keep our accessories. We'll go over that in a second. And they're actually working on adding accessories both to the storefront and to uh, the website. And there is the gloriously beautiful and expensive ghost. That one's pretty awesome. It's new sealed, very expensive. I want to say it's what? 750, 750 for that one. Okay. We got Batman, the Tumblr, and Joker's, the Tumblr and That's Joker's definitely. ice cream surprise. It's an old oh, Batman no set. For, oh yeah, Joseph on his throne. Grumpy yes. Jay's pointing it out. Hey. Well, <laughs> well that's terrifying. Well, hey, Grumpy. He's got his throne. Oh, yeah, uh, John wants hey, to talk to Grumpy. Talk. We're going to dethrone him. You're going to dethrone yeah. Joe? I'm part of the Grumpy Nation, okay. actually. Well, We're Joe has said he's part of the Grumpy Nation, so um, stump. Yeah. maybe there will be a Grumpy Civil War. That'd be terrible. No. Of course no. Not. Joe, Joe says never. So. There's the um, Technic Crawler Crane. It's pretty awesome. Very old. Very cool. You know what Justin Bieber said? Any Bieber Space Police no. stuff, just in general. One, two, or three. We should have uh, a couple of those built sets. We also have quite a few of those figures available. I'm not sure if they're online. So if they're not online, probably call the store and we can find some for you. I know we have a whole drawer of them. Um, so we do have quite a few of the figures. Uh, Disney train and station up there. Very nice, new sealed. <laughs> Grumpy J, insert evil laugh. That's pretty funny. Grumpy J is, is manipulating everything behind the scenes. You got Friends, the apartments. That's a cool set. It's way bigger than I thought it was, too. It's 2,000 pieces, but it's a big box. So it's very cool. We've also got the... I'm too close. Let me get to the next row. John, get out of the way. There you go. I'm sorry I made everyone dizzy there. All right. We got the Barracuda Bay. Very nice. Recently retired. Do you have the Pharaoh's Quest Pyramid, new or used by chance? I'm pretty sure we don't have that one right now. I'm pretty sure we do have the Sphinx, though. Is that right? Or is it a different one? We have a couple Pharaoh's Quest sets we'll check out in just a moment. We've got the Lego Batman movie, the Ford Raptor, Ghostbusters, Ice Planet, Yoda's lightsaber, I believe. Oh no, Luke Skywalker's oh, lightsaber. Hey, I'm looking through a blurry screen, Joe. Give, uh, give me a break, Joe. Alright. Also not a Star Wars fan. So. We got uh, Indominus Rex. That's awesome. That's certified complete. You can see by the little orange sticker there. You got a beautiful castle. Clearly the best set on the shelf here, so. Um, best spin dual, older Technic, very old Technic, I should say. Got the uh, Y-Wing Attack Starfighter, that's been there for a while. You got Rock Raiders, ATST. that's the UCS version. I don't think they've made another one yet. <laughs> Joe! Joe is the best and the worst at the same time. All right, motorized walking AT-AT. The, the, the comments are saying, yo! In, in what way? <laughs> that, that's up for up to you to decide, Joe. They all love me. They all love me, he says. <laughs> You're not Spider-Man. All righty, we got the Tower Bridge over here. I believe that one's new sealed as well. London Bus. And the Mountain Cave for Minecraft. That is a beast of a set. That one basically dwarfs all the other sets on this this uh, top shelf over here. You got the village, another very collectible Minecraft set. He has his glasses on, therefore he is Joseph. That is correct, Bradby. Yes, when Joe has his glasses on, he becomes Joseph 
and uh, he is much more serious. And then we got the Millennium Falcon. I believe that's the second version. That's pretty cool. Has the very neat box art. You also have the Vampire Castle. I kind of uh, glossed over right there. It's actually kind of obscured by the glare of the light. There we go. That's a little better. And um, I think these are the drawers that one of the comments was referring to earlier. This is where we keep all our sorted parts for people to complete sets. So you see a bunch of slopes and plates over there. Yep, second version, great. Didn't want to get that uh, incorrect. And then over here, we have all of our accessories set aside for people to complete sets. So whenever we need a, uh, um, a trumpet or an ax head or a backpack, any of those cool things, we'll just pull them out of these drawers here. It takes a while to memorize where they all are though, because there's so many of them. We also have a crocodile locomotive, Mickey and Minnie Mouse, the monkey kid, the bone demon, that's an awesome set. I got that one at the Lego store in North Point a while ago, or was it Sugarloaf? It's one of those two Lego stores up there, and it's an awesome set. We've got the Republic gunship, the Ferrari F40, two just amazing sets. Got the Ocean Monument, that's a really good set. We've got the UCS Snow Speeder, the Clone Turbo Tank, and the Ferrari 488 GTE with the uh, racing decals. And that is the uh, top shelf, AKA the expensive and collectible sets. If any of those are of interest to you, definitely either call the store or search for it on our website, atlbrick.com. Apparently to Joe, these should all be online. So if you're not seeing it, let us know and give us a call. So, Let's see. Trumpet, ax head, and a backpack. Sounds like a shopping list for a serial killer. Um, I, you know, I don't know how that, you know, came off the top of my head, but I'm not going to confirm or deny anything. Anyway, moving on. We've got military case. We've restocked all the military figures, so if those are of interest to you, definitely check out the website. It should be under custom figures. Or, uh, battle break, or military, any of those tags. Any Indiana Jones sets? I'm pretty sure, Joe, we don't have any Indy sets right now, right? He doesn't think so. If we do, they would be on our website under Indiana Jones, so. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure we're low on Indiana Jones. Oh yes. You might have seen this on the haul video the past few weeks, but uh, we have a ton of amazing accessories available in the store right now. So a lot of these that were just stashed behind are now um, available and ready for people to come purchase, including reorganizing and restocking all of our animals. So definitely come into the store and check those out. Also check them out on our website because a lot of those are on our website as well. Let's see where the live chat went. Did I see a Market Street in the background perhaps? Market Street. I see the um, detective's office, the diner. I'll take, I'll take ten of them We've myself. got the Palace Cinema, the Grand Emporium, the Garage, a custom modular in the corner. I don't think we have a Market Street right now. So I think we're out on those right now. There is an Indiana Jones section on the site. Okay, there should be at least under themes, but um, it's if it isn't there, we'll have to check that. I'll remind Joe later to check that. Uh, he's saying that he, there isn't an Indiana Jones section on the site. <laughs> okay. So. I know the minifigs are on there. The minifigs should be on there. We'll double check on the section itself to make sure it should be visible. Oh, uh, here's a fun question. Mark, what is a set you really don't like? Ooh, that's a good question. You have an answer? Chima. I actually like Chima. Nexonites, I will forever, forever loathe Nexonites. And it's not because they're bad sets. They're actually great sets. I just hate the fact that they took the place of what would have been a normal um, uh, castle line. And so that really uh, did not do it for me at all. So I'm not a big fan. Of, actually, let's go look at the Nexonites while we're talking about them. Because they're really cool. They have some, some of the best play features of any sets. But they're not normal castle sets. And so it makes me upset. But I know a lot of people love them, so I'm going to not hate on them too much. 
And we have a bunch of them. And a bunch of the figures, too. And they're all really awesome. So if you like them, definitely check out the website. Or give us a call. Or watch the live streams. You can see what we got. What new mocks have you been working on in the store? We are building a gigantic airplane right now, so that's pretty cool. You'll probably see um, us post a video about it once it's done. And what other things? Are, can we see Chima sets? Oh, let's go back to Chima really quick. I know we have a few Chima sets, not as many as we did, but still a few. We've got Voltrix Sky Scavenger, which is pretty cool. It's like the Vulture set. Laval's Royal Fighter. I think we just put this one out today. We've got Sir Fangar's Sabertooth Walker. It looks like a giant... It looks like a beaver. I'm not going to lie. But I actually... I used to really not like Chima as well. But now I like it quite a bit more just because I think it's pretty crazy. Like, if you, if you told me 10 years ago that LEGO would make animal-looking minifigures fighting in giant animal-shaped vehicles over these crystals, I would have thought you were crazy. They're pretty awesome. So we got Elgore's twin bike. That one's certified complete for 60. We got Everus's Eagle Interceptor. That's a cool name. That one's $59.99. So quite a few Chima sets. There's smaller ones over here. Equilla's Ultra Striker. Oh, I think we already saw that one. And we got Sporadus's Spider Stalker. We got Chima Battle Packs, Chima Accessories, Chima Gear. We got the Mammoth's Frozen Stronghold. That's pretty cool. Those Mammoth figures are neat. We also have a couple built Chima sets over here. Yes, Brad P is pointing out that we looked at trains pretty thoroughly a few minutes ago before we looked at the expensive sets. So if you're able to rewind, that's one way you could see it. We'll go check it out if we don't get any new requests. How much is the built Fortrex Nexo Knights? We'll check that out in a second here. Chima sets. Indiana Jones. Okay, we covered that. So yeah, there's some more built Chima sets and there's some Chima figures here as well. I don't think these are on the website yet, so... It's worth checking, but if they aren't there, we just haven't gotten to them yet. Most of them are about $5, which is pretty affordable. You can have a whole army of Chima characters. I think that was kind of the point. So. All right, what are we going to look at next here? I've already forgotten. We like Chima now, too. Yeah, I know. It seems to grow on you with age. Oh, uh, how much is the built Fortrex? Let's look at that really quick. Built Fortrex next to nice. Oh, here it is down here. The built Fortrex is $100. It looks like it has a few of the figures with it, but not all of them. It looks like it has all the pieces. Maybe an antenna or two are missing. So that's pretty cool. Let's see. Told me 10 years ago that I'd be obsessed with colorful ninjas that fight snakes by spinning. I would laugh. Yeah, exactly. Remember when Ninjago came out back in, I want to say 2011 or 12? It was like, well, this is pretty weird. But um, everyone seems to like it, so that makes sense. Um, will you be at Atlanta BrickCon? I will not be, but Steven will be. So if you're going to Atlanta BrickCon, definitely look out for Steven. He looks exactly like he did on the show, except he has a big beard. So keep an eye out for that, and uh, be sure to mention it, because it's pretty cool. All right, what else see? Let's, see Let's go look at trains really quick, because somebody was asking about them. We'll quickly gloss over them again, although this will be... The second coverage of that. So. Lots of pick a brick. We've actually kept this very well stocked the past few weeks. So if you're looking for pieces, we got them. Way too many of them. All right, let's go look at trains. No such thing, no such thing says Joe. That's probably the right attitude to have, isn't it? Let's see, we've got the Crocodile Locomotive, a bunch of various train cars, another Crocodile Locomotive. Quite a few train cars and maybe some train engines in there. There's a big custom train engine in the back. And they range anywhere from 40 or $50 for a car up to hundreds of dollars for a train engine. I see that BNSF train engine is 250 So some of them are pretty expensive. They really need to make a bunch more Lego trains so that they become more affordable. 
We got plenty of track, transformers, train pieces, and I know all those can be found on the website. So definitely check out atlbrick.com and go under bulk Lego and then go under trains. There's a cool typewriter set. I think that was a Lego ideas set. That's pretty cool. That's a built one. Some of our custom models and a customized Mustang. That's pretty cool. Let's see what the live chat is saying. Dynamic Productions. Oh, yes. With the winnings from Lego Masters, were you able to buy an expensive set that you always wanted but couldn't afford? Great job on the live stream. Oh, thank you. But, um, yeah, um, I haven't spent that much on Lego. I think the one set that I got was a uh, used um, Coliseum. Because I remember when it first came out, I'm like, eh, $500, eh, it's a lot of money. And then um, we got one in that was used, and I was able to get a pretty good deal on it thanks to the fact that it was um, half built and opened. And so I still have yet to work on that and fix that, but that's one of the sets that I got when I... Uh, first got our payment the... let's see here joe is such a good guy wish he'd discount that dragon forge for me <laughs> uh is it the built one or the box one because the built ones are on sale right now so that is a discount but if it's a box one there might not be a specific deal on box sets right now i think that's it right there dragon forge yep so if you can't afford the dragon forge consider something else we've got a lot of other cool sets here Got Garmadon and some fiery lava. Can we see Ninjago dragons? We can. We're actually right here, so we might as well check them out. Um, I see the uh, Lloyd's dragon from the Lego Ninjago movie there. That one is $39.99. It doesn't have Lloyd, and it looks like it's missing a piece or two. So it's a battle damage dragon right there. We've got the very amazing bone dragon down here. It's $59.99. Looks like it might be missing a piece or two. When they're in the case, they're usually not 100% complete. They're like 99.99% complete. So there's the bone dragon down there. You've got a, a very nice shape Lloyd's dragon here, $50. Let's go see if there's any over here. Oh, there's Stormbringer. He is also $50, the blue dragon right there. I don't see any dragons down here, but there's plenty of vehicles and mechs and figures. Let's go look over here. Oh, very cool. I think that's the Ultra Dragon, if I'm not mistaken. I missed a comment here, hold on. It's from the season with the Dragon Hunters. Ah, yes. How much is that green tank on the top back left? We'll look there in just a moment here. The Epic Dragon Battle, we've got that one. That's new in box, or newish for 300. Newish means that one or two of the bags have been opened, but there are still sealed bags in there. Brad P. reminding everyone to hit that like button. It's getting close to the end. That is correct. We've only got a few minutes left. We're going to check out the rest of the dragons here. Let's see. Oh, yes. The Dragon Hunter set. Let's see if I can move these out of the way. We have so many Ninjago sets, we can't quite see them all. There's the Dragon Pit, and that is a really cool set. This is a very nice uh, example of the set. This one is new. It is 250. That's actually a pretty good deal considering all the pieces in there. Yeah, the Epic Dragon Battle. Those are expensive. That's because it's a earlier Ninjago set. And those early Ninjago sets have gotten pretty collectible. It's not a dragon, but the Monkey Kid's Lion Guardian is pretty cool. Big uh, monster looking thing with cool flags. Let's see. It looks like we have a Moro Dragon here. Is that what this is? Oh, no. <laughs> it's a uh, legacy set. It fooled me. This is Master Wu's Dragon. That's pretty awesome. That's 130. Let's see. A lot of helicopters and jet planes. Don't see any other dragons. There's Ninjago also does a great job with the mechs. So there's plenty of awesome mechs. Do you have the Sakarian Arena Clash Marvel set in stock? Yes, they have it, Zach. It's online. Yeah, Nexus to Zach is asking that. Yes, we do have that set. We actually covered it briefly earlier. It's right there. And that one's online on our website as well. The new sealed one is 
my nerds. Yeah, this is a little bit nerdy. Lego's nerdy, but I think uh, nerds in general are a lot cooler than they used to be. Like, it's actually cool to be a nerd now. Do you have anything to trade for store credit to defer costs of buying a set from Leonard Bricko? Yes, if you trade in a set, it uh, automatically gets you some store credit, and you can use that store credit on a set that you want to get. So a good way to save some money on an expensive set. So. The DBX looks nice. How much? DBX. I'm not sure which one is the DBX. I'm pretty sure you're referring to a Ninjago vehicle. Let me check here. Ultrasonic Raider, nope. DBX. Somebody in the chat let me know what DBX is. This is Bird. B brought the giant black schooner to Brook Valley. Oh, awesome. Very cool. Yeah, nerd used to have a different meaning. So now it's just anything cool and uh, nerdy like Lego, which is pretty cool and nerdy, but also very engaging and creative and constructive. But we have pretty much wrapped up in front of the bounty. Okay, hold on. In front of the bounty. Ah, yes. Okay, the big battle vehicle. That's what I call it. Let's see. Ninja DBX. That is two thirty for a new sealed one. It has all those awesome characters in there. Pythor. He's cool. I think that's the albino looking Pythor. And then there's also a built one over here for $80 with uh, none of the figures, but it has that awesome vehicle and a lot of the parts. I think it's pretty much complete. <laughs> the giant red square truck. Yep. That's what it is. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for tuning into the live stream. Those are some amazing questions. You're able to keep busy running around the store. And uh, thanks for tuning in. We will see you guys at least next week. I think later this week we have another live stream as well. So just keep an eye out. And uh, tomorrow morning, the morning brick. We'll be talking about all the crazy Lego news that's happened over the past week. So definitely tune into that. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like button, leave a comment. Let us know what you like, didn't like, and definitely check out atlbrick.com or give us a call. Thanks a bunch, guys. Signing out. Bye-bye, guys.